my lovely Capricorns. If you would like your own personal reading or one-to-one -one spiritual life coaching, you can email me. My email will be in the description box. So with you, Capricorn, I'm going to tell you where your struggle is going to be at. You're going to have a struggle that comes up. And this is like a, a fight with you versus you, right? One minute, there's going to be something from your past that comes up and triggers you. And you're going to feel so down, so hurt. And then the next minute, you're going to feel so empowered and like, I am so over this. This doesn't hurt me. This doesn't bother me. I don't care no more. And then the next minute, it's going to hit you like a, a ton of bricks and you're going to feel down again. All right. So and I want you to know, Capricorn, when you're going through this, because you may wonder like, oh, my God. Am I going to be able to get through this? Am I going to be okay? The answer is yes. That's that's what healing looks like. Healing is messy. That's why a lot of people don't even want to heal or be bothered with this journey because it, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of inner strength to let go of things that you, you thought you were over, but you, you're not. It just takes a lot to really overcome. So that's what you're going to be going. That's what you're going to be going through, Capricorn. I feel like you're entering a new phase in your life and you're going up a mountain and I promise you going up a mountain it it's heavy so if you feel heaviness then um don't judge yourself and be patient with the climb be patient with the climb as you overcome this hurdle in your life overcome this challenge overcome this trauma overcome this pain like be patient with yourself because what you're feeling is normal that's what I want to tell you what you're going through is normal. That's what healing looks like. It's messy. It's annoying. Um, but yeah. If you if you wonder or feel like you have people around you that are competing with you, it's because you do have people around you competing with you. If you're if you're working at a company, you can have people at your company that is competing for you. There's also people at your company that want your spot. So just be careful. Watch your back. Um if you are at a certain position and like it could be people asking for that position, like if you're a supervisor, if you're a manager, if there's a certain position that you have and you had to work really hard to get to it. Um, there are people who are looking at your position and wanting it. All right. So, ooh, you have a lot of money coming. You have a lot of money coming. And once again, like. You're going to be dating. Some of you, I see you single and just dating people. You're going on dates. There's people who are going to be taking you out, wishing you the best. So whatever you do, I, like if you go on a date, you could be speaking about your career and um, certain things that you, you hope for, that you want in the future with your life. It's like if you're dating... You need to know that the new people that you're dating, they look at you very, very highly. They see you as like, ooh, like like wifey goals, hubby goals. You seem like a person who has your mind in the right place and you're going after like some really good things in your life. So people are impressed with you. It's important for you to know that. However, like worthiness, and this is what I mean. You like sometimes you second guess yourself and it's only because of the past. This is like the battle. Some of you could be holding on to pain. Some of you, too, if you had a mother that passed, you could wish your mother was still alive. You wish that she was here to be with you at this part of your life, because sometimes you lose strength, you lose hope. And you remember how your mother used to empower you and help you. And, you know, it just it just means that you need to integrate more self-care you just need to take care of yourself you just need to empower and encourage yourself more if your mother used to play that piece and she's no longer here to do it it just means that you need to be around people who see the best in you choose choose a partner that is good for your soul and for your mind you know but yeah this is what it's like you're oh then I say a mountain and look at you climbing you climbing up baby this is where you trying to get to the to the top <laughs> You know, sometimes you just feel like hopeless. You feel tired. You know what it is too. Some of you, if you're single mothers, that can be stressful as well. Because you wish you had somebody there to help you. You're a single mother. You're a single father. You wish you had someone to like help you carry the weight and the responsibilities. And you're doing it all on your own. And you're doing the best that you can, you know. Um, 
So this is what you're going to be going through this week. Let's see what's going on when it comes to some of you too. You have a trainer. You're I see you with a trainer at the gym. You could be working on your abs or your stomach. You want to tighten your stomach. Um, you have. Oof. You have a unrequited love situation with somebody from your past. And it's sad because it could have started out so nice. Playfulness just means like it was so lighthearted. It was so loving. It was so good between you two. You could have blocked this person. Um, some of you, if if you were married to this person, the marriage started off so good. The relationship started off so good. Now you had to block them and you could be... Um, divorcing each other or going through separation and this is what I mean like you're overcoming something I said and you keep having highs and lows with it some of you could be using drinking to cope or your person could the cross watcher the cross watcher could be drinking a lot <laughs> to cope with the unrequited love um they're also spying on you because they're struggling to let you go that's why they're struggling to let you go. So they're spying on you and they're, they're drinking. Um, if they're drinking, it's because they feel alone. Like they don't, they don't feel like they have anybody. Let's see. I hear like you ran through all my money. They could, <laughs> if you guys were living together or if you guys invested in things together, they could feel like you, you ran through all their money. I don't know. Why does this person seem like a pity party? They feel like they have nothing left. Like I have nothing left. I wasted my time. I invested all my money into you. They're spying on you to see how you're doing with the breakup. They want to know. They want to know if you are struggling like them. They just want to know. Um, and it shows shocking news. You may you may find out. You know what I feel like is going on with this person? Let me tell you. They have a huge facade. They're trying to pretend as if they're doing okay. And it's a damn lie. With the shocking news, you're going to find out through like a family member, a friend, or even you're going to find out somehow, some way that this person is actually doing really bad. Like they are doing bad. I even hear like tricks are for kids, honey. You know, all this time you, you could have thought that they were doing good and everything was going well for them. That's what you was thinking. And little do you know, it was a show. It was a show. They find you to be a queen. They find you to be so secure, so, so confident. And it's like, damn, they want to know, like, how is it that no matter what, you still keep going forward? And I'm over here stuck, drunk, ashamed. Look, <laughs> and the card of shame came out. They're ashamed. They feel like a clown. This person could have had like sexual addictions and they could have been into weird sexual things. And now they're on a spiritual journey. They're going through like an ego death. You could have been married to this person. It shows marriage again. You could have been married with, to this person or you could have spoke about marriage with them. You knew that this person had secrets. You knew they had secrets. All right. And they're just not happy. And you just feel like backstabbed by this person. So I'm not going to go into this anymore because this this doesn't look like energy that you even want near you. You may wonder about them. I wanted to call you a Scorpio or a Virgo. This could be a Scorpio. This could be a Virgo. This could be an Aquarius. This could have been like a long lesson that you had to learn. I'm not going to go into it. I just feel for some reason that you are, are. Spirit says, yes, you did the right thing by walking away. Yeah, they're spying on you. You know why you may wonder, like, were they ever going to change? 
you know? So those happy times was in the beginning phase, like the honeymoon phase. And the honeymoon phase, they try to, you know, sweep you off your feet, make you happy, impress you. Some of you could have had a child by this person. And that's the only reason why you care, because it's like your child's mother, child's father. But, um... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna let this person go. I'm gonna see who who else is coming towards you. Oh, you have wish fulfillment coming towards you. A love of a life. Who is this person? This could be a Capricorn, somebody who's gonna be obsessed with you, but they're gonna want to take their time. They're gonna find you to be so positive, and with the highest priest, it can also be a Pisces, or they can like the fact that you're spiritual. If you are spiritual, then they're happy that you're spiritual. They're going to want to fight for this. They're going to come into your life to give you lots of attention. All right. So this is the new person. I'm not going to even go back there. Let's see what your job is. Ooh, some of you just got a second job. You're going to feel at peace. Let me tell you, if you found a second job or a second source of income or someone to help you, you are going to be at peace because your finances are healing. And if you could have been on edge and not knowing where your next dollar was going to come from, some of you had to just like turn off all your distractions and just work, work, work really hard until you got your money back up. And you're going to be happy to see that your finances are turning around for the better. Some of you, you could have just got a second job and this second job is giving you the money that you need. I see a lot of... um prosperity coming for you and someone new that you're dating who's really obsessed with you all right if you want to find out more about this new person I'm going to do a full spread on the extended with the new person see what they're hiding I'll also do a spread on your family um your friends your children and that's what I have for you my loves that will be in the description box you can click on to the extended Capricorn link. I send you love and light.